Okay, eight is uh, item eight is the approval of the bus offer for the Liverpool City region. Uh, it's an update really on the way, uh, which is uh, talking about how we improve our bus offer for the whole uh, Liverpool City region. There's been good progress made over the last 12 months. Uh, Matt Coggins is, is here from Mersey Travel. If there are any points that <coughs> need to be raised, again, as I said, it's, uh, it's just an update really on, on, on where we are. Nine is the approved local growth fund, and it's a transport scheme uh, proposed uh, for reprofiling of the fund, just basically uh, revisiting that. John, I don't know whether you want to uh, make a comment on that at all. No, we, we need to just agree in reprofiling and financing. Ten is the apprenticeship grant for employers and its acceptance of the financial transfer funder. We've ex previously accepted uh, funder uh, to support the creation of apprenticeships uh, for young people, <coughs> and basically all that report for us, all this report for us, is um, asked the combined authority to accept a further trans uh, of, of this funder. Um, Ian, any comments that you want to make on this? Chair, if I can, we re oh, very, very recently got notice from the SFA that the final 20 cents on the success of the 660k. One of the issues, I hope we have to get rid of it because it's a bit of a more financial ridiculous. It's, it's a crazy situation. It's one of the reasons that we push so much for the skills funding, etc., is actually devolved to and under control of this combined authority to stop this kind of thing. We'll do our best to make sure you know, that we get, we get that money spent as it should be spent supporting both our people. Um, and we'll do what we can. The time scale of the payments is just unbelievable. It's, it's shameful. Okay, and, and it, it reminds us of the whole devolution of fishing and skills and stuff like everywhere. We're, we're still uh, looking for. <coughs> I mean, obviously, um, we're going to minimise the risk of the underfunded commitment to the fund, but um, I, I do accept the point, take the point, it's not, not our fault, it's because of the late passport and through the fund. Cheers, cheers, just follow on. We really need to, as a command authority, just let the, the SFA know how unhappy we are with this situation, how they need to improve their handling of this kind of situation. So, so uh, we, we will uh, write on behalf of the CA uh, expressing our uh, disquiet about the uh, process and the way we're at. Uh, okay, so um, with the agreement that we'll do that, can we agree the recommendations that set out for the report on page 79? Thank you. Okay, it's, the next one is the Christmas Fund to the Combined Authority, um, and it's talking about the location uh, of the fund. Uh, across to us. Jeff, do you want to make any comments on this? This is pretty straightforward. Thanks, Chair. Again, it is pretty straightforward. So, hopefully, um, this is a good thing. An update report in terms of progress on Christmas generally. Uh, you recall that it's um, your decision to ask for Christmas to be put alongside the other funding sources in the interest of investment fund. And in order to do that, we do the innovation that you referred to. And there's some procedural matters that are asking to delegate uh, to the South Fund. Okay, and again, as I said, it's very clear. Can we agree that recommendation I set on 2973? 
Okay. Item 12 is the minutes of the Mersey Travel Committee meeting held on, on the 2nd of March. And all we need to do is confirm those uh, minutes as set out on pages 18, Peter 19, in the usual fashion. So can we agree those? Okay, thank you. Uh, also, minutes of the Audit Committee that was held on the 6th of December. Can we confirm those minutes as set out on pages 91 to 94, please? Okay. Um, Items 14 and 15 on our agenda are published to the depth. However, in the interest of openness and transparency, and on the understanding that not accepted information will be discussed or disclosed, uh, it's proposed that the press and public uh, can remain and are not excluded from the meeting in this instance. Uh, so they are straightforward. So can I move that we consider these reports in public? Can we agree that? Uh, so, um, we now have to, to move the approval of under item 14, uh, the single investment fund approval for Alchemy Phase 3, uh, which is a full business case, and we now move to the approval of two uh, SIP items with Alchemy Phase 3 first, please. The report recommends the approval of the full business case for Alchemy Phase 3 for up to a maximum of uh, 1.91 uh, million uh, pounds. Uh, Alchemy uh, is a strategic employment site just off the A580 in Nosley. The full business case has been independently appraised uh, against the single investment from uh, framework, the appraisal framework, and it's found that the project provides a strong case against the required criteria. So basically, we are being asked to agree uh, the recommendations for that on page 95. So, uh, any, any comments? Okay, item 15, our final item today is the second uh, SIP item covered in IFP 2018. And the report recommends the approval of the full business case for IFP 218 for 5 million. Don't forget to see the devolution uh, stuff as well. The full business case has been independently appraised against the single investment fund appraisal framework. This appraisal has found the project provides a strong case against the required criteria. Uh, the review by the investment panel has suggested that the city region develop a, a wider set of objectives to identify uh, the benefits to business as across the city region as a whole. Um, I, I think it, it was really good to see IFB in terms of the delivery uh, of, of jobs and investments across the whole uh, city region. Uh, Will, is that the most people receive uh, fantastic investments in these opportunities? So can we agree the recommendations set out on uh, item, uh, oh, sorry, on page 101? Okay, thank you. <coughs> okay, there have been no other uh, items um, uh, for agents, uh, debate or discussion presented to uh, me today. Uh, I'd just like to say that uh, this before the ATM is my final uh, meeting as uh, chair of the combined authority group. We have a new metro mayor in place by the so it's been a, a pleasure and a privilege to share the evening. So, please do it all again. Sure. sure. So, uh, just before we, uh, we finish, can I uh, just, just be on behalf of, of the, the other leaders just say a, a big thank you to you um, for the, um, the excellent way you've led the combined authority. You know, you took over from, from me, and I think you've taken it you know, further forward and made fantastic progress to the point where we will have the, the new uh, mayor in in a few weeks' time, and uh, I would just like to put on record of all thanks to you. Um, you may be, I was going to say, you may be moving on to bigger and better things, but I'm not sure whether, whether, whether that's the case, but uh, if, if you do, uh, it, you go with our, our, our best wishes and the best of luck for the future. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Thank you.